can't believe this. Our electric bill actually went down a little. Really? I wonder why. Uh, are you still using your blow dryer? No, not since I got my hair cut. There it is. <laughs> Would you just go and open the door? Okay. Excuse me, are you guys open? Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I know you. You're, uh, a wiener. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Just because the guy talks himself doesn't make him a wiener. <laughs> no, no, Joel. This is Mark Wiener. That's right. He does his great puppet show. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've taken my son to see you dozens of times. Oh, thanks, thanks. As a matter of fact, can I introduce you to one of your biggest fans? Sure. I love meeting the kids. I'm sure you do. Lloyd! <laughs> Lloyd, somebody wants you to meet. Mark Wiener! Oh, 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 Mr. Wiener! I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> so how can we help you, Mark? I want you guys to customize my puppet truck. <gasps> well, well, come here, I'll show you. All right, all right, let him go, let him go. Let him go. <laughs> is this? Andy, 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 what is your favorite puppet show on TV? Newish Radio? <laughs> Andy, they're not puppets. They're not? Hey, guys. Wow, Mark Wiener. I caught your show at the county fair. Big laughs. Thanks, man. Yeah, I love your show. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a good show for little kids. So, did you bring Boney? You want to meet him? Yeah, can I meet him? Well, let me go back there and see if he's awake, okay? Right, cool. This is so exciting. We haven't had a celebrity in this garage. Unless you count Merv the Mattress King, which, by the way, I don't. <laughs> hey, this place smells like fossil fuel! <laughs> Yep, that's Aunt Sophie! <laughs> you see, Andy, he says fossil fuel because when the dinosaurs became extinct... Hey, Lloyd, get out of here! I love this guy. Come on, let's sing the Boney song so I can get out of here! I'm Boney, I'm Boney, leave me alone! Matt, I couldn't help but notice you know all the words of that little Boney song. <laughs> Customizing. Hello, kitty cat. What are you doing? Yeah. You know, Joey Dog's been working hard, even though he's tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a great time last night, too. Oh, gosh. You know what? I miss you more. No, I'm serious. I know. No, you know what? I really do. Uh, can you hold on one minute? Lou, what are you looking for? Something to puke in. <laughs> can I call you back in a little while? Okay. All right, bye. Is it possible for me to get a little privacy around here, please? Oh, Joe, don't you mean privacy? Yes, that is exactly what I mean. I feel like I can't have any sort of social life with you spying on me around every corner. Oh, let's get this straight right now. I really don't care what Joey Dog does during his off hours, and I don't care how tired you and Kitty Cat were from last night, all right? For somebody who doesn't care, you sure got every word right. <laughs> Look, I happen to date a lot myself. I just don't flaunt it around like some big... dater. Flaunt her around her. You see when I flaunt? Yeah, if the flaunt fits. Okay, let's say I do, all right? Which I don't. What would be the big deal anyway? Are you saying that it wouldn't bother you at all if I had guys call me here at work? Bother me? No. Amaze me? Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, fine. I will not tell the men in my life that they're free to call me at work. All right, well, tell them not to be surprised if they get a busy signal. Good. Good. You know, I'm glad that this is out in the open because, I mean, there's absolutely nothing going on between us anyway. Is there? Okay. All right, let's be honest. You know, maybe there's a little bit of physical attraction. Wow. <laughs> Finally. Um, I know how hard it is for you to admit that you're attracted to me. I but... meant from you towards me. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. You know, your ego.
ego is bigger than that spaceship in Independence Day. Oh, um, here we go. And you know what? Don't feel weird at all about dating anybody as openly as you want, because there's absolutely nothing going on between us, all right? We're just friends. Friends. Amigos. Friends. Compadres. Look, friends is all I got, all right? I knew that. Friends. Not you too. Oh, come on, Joe. Give it a try. Uh, you know, it shouldn't be that hard for you. I mean, you already have a big head. Yep, yep, yep. Lou, I don't know if you noticed this, all right, but I'm not really a puppet person. Oh, come on, Joe. No strings attached. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Lou, please. We got to get back to work, okay, okay? okay? Pull that chain. What is it? It's a trap door. Why do you need a trap door at a puppet show? Why do you need a puppet show? <laughs> hey, Ooh, there we go. That there works. Go. All right. Only following the plans. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, here you go. Come on. I want to get out of here. Why, well, you got a big date? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, so... Joe, come on. You can talk about it. There's no reason to feel awkward. No, it's just that, you know... Duh. Joe, if you have a date, it's fine. <sighs> I don't have a date. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. That was very, very nice. Thanks. Who? Mel's on the phone? Oh! Mel? It's an old friend from high school. Hi, hi, how are you? You're in town? No way. For how long? Oh, well, you gotta stay with me. No, no, I will not take no for an answer because it's small, but it's it's very, very cozy. Shh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? Why don't you just pick me up at work around 5? Okay, good. 11 Edna Street. Great. Oh, man, it is so good to talk to you. All right, see you then. Bye. So, your old high school buddy Mel's in town. Gonna stay at your pad for a little while, huh? Yep. Yeah, well... I gotta get back to work. Excuse me. Yeah, I gotta go freshen up. For Mel. <laughs> no, but don't worry about me. I'm gonna have plenty to do tonight. Thank you. Psst. Joe. What, Lloyd? If you happen to be around the garage around 7.30 tonight, there just might be a very special performance of Porgy and Bess. <laughs> Lloyd, we're not supposed to be playing with the puppets. Who's playing? Kitty cat, guess who? <laughs> no, it's Joe. <laughs> hey, who's Bill, anyway? You know what? It's not really important. <laughs> so what do you say? You go out with me tonight, huh? Yeah, I mean, I know it's short notice, but, uh... <laughs> well... Can't you sit Shiva tomorrow? I mean, please? <laughs> okay, all right, okay. <laughs> this is your last chance, though. <laughs> okay, all right. Please? <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> Joe, I know I'm supposed to be learning from you, buddy, but I've tried the pleading technique and it doesn't work. And I can prove it because it's Friday night and I'm going to see a puppet version of Porky and Bess alone. <laughs> Did sound desperate, didn't I? Uh, it's because I am desperate, man. Why? Well, see, Lou and I decided that we were going to be friends, right? And that we could see other people. And tonight she's got other people and I don't. Yeah, but if you're just friends, why does it matter? Because I don't want her being any friendlier than I am. That can't be a problem for you. You're Joe Roman. The guy who simultaneously dated the Van Scoik triplets, and he was just a junior in San Antonio. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Still, the weekend is the rest. And uh, what about when you played football in San Dimas, and you went off with the other team's head cheerleader doing halftime? We lost the game, and yet I always felt I had won. <laughs> all right, it's true. I can't get a date with a girl, all right? But the problem is there aren't any girls around here. I mean, even Mozart can't paint without an easel, you know what I'm saying? How many beautiful girls just walk into the garage, man? I can't believe I just got this lucky. Okay, Matt. Watch the master in action. Take notes, all right? Hi, uh, my name is Joe Roman. Uh, welcome to Roman Customizing. I know that you probably just dented your car and you're a little shaken up right now, so I just want you to know that you came to the right place. I mean... The most important thing you can do right now is have dinner and a movie with me tonight because you are the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you are the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in my life. Yep, I've still got it. <laughs> Yikes, what are you trying to do, break some kind of record? Hey, I'm just the guy who likes to say what's on my mind. Well, then I'll tell you what's on mine. I can't make it tonight, but could I take a rain check for this weekend? Oh, come on, you have to seize the moment. No, I really, I can't tonight. I have plans with my girlfriend. Bring him along. Heck, I'll just take my brother. <laughs> Heck, I'll just take my brother. Hey, that's me. Mel? Mel, hey! Hey, do you want to go out with this guy and his brother 
tonight? Wait a second, wait a second. This is Mel? Yes, Melanie Marcos, my best friend from high school. So this is really sweet of you, Roman. Where are you and Matt going to take us to dinner? Oh, I'm in the mood for lobster. Lobster! lobster. Mm. Okay, all right, that's it. <laughs> Show's over, everybody. Oh. Mel, I can't wait to show you my place. I just got to grab my jacket. Okay, great. Saw for tomorrow? You're kidding, right? Never been more serious in my life. I'll be at Lou's. Call me. Okay. Great. We'll see you then. <laughs> Hey, amazing, man. I still got it, buddy. I never lost it. So, I call this one Death Becomes Her because I tried to work in all the anger and the despair of the modern woman while keeping a balance with the femininity, which I believe the 20th century takes away from her. Hmm. Are those your shoes? You shut up. <laughs> I will have you know I just sold that to a gallery in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I have to take it there tomorrow night. Oh, congratulations! Yeah. Well, I miss you. I miss you too. I can't believe your life is so together. I moved to Los Angeles to be with some macho stud who loves his motorcycle more than me. Oh, yeah. We sure can pick them. Oh, we don't have to. They find us. <laughs> it's like that guy Joe you work with. I mean, I wasn't there ten seconds before he hit on me. Oh, I'm sure. What a jerk. He even gave me the old, most gorgeous thing I've ever seen line. Yeah, and he probably got it out of one of those How to Pick Up Chicks books, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I wonder why it always works. I don't know. So, I kind of made a date with him for tomorrow night. Oh. God, that really did work. I, I thought you guys were just kidding around back at the garage. Oh, um, it's nothing. It's just a little rebound. That's not a problem, is it? No, no. We're just friends. I mean, you guys aren't... No, no, no. I just... I, I feel like I should warn you, because Joe's kind of like a, a brick wall. <laughs> What's better to rebound off of than a brick wall? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm missing a sock. <laughs> I'm missing a sock. Can I help you look? <laughs> hey, man, this is pork chop. You know, like lamb chop? <laughs> I call it my favorite green sock. Oh, well, Matt, I'm sorry. You know, Andy just really loved the puppet, so I made him one. You know, I was trying to encourage him to be creative. I don't think Andy needs any help from you. Did I hear the name Andy Rowan? But there be no one here but me, Jolly Jack. Scarred of the seven shades. Andy, I made you a friend. Hi, my name is Porkchop. That's sweet, Mom. But it's got ages two to four written all over it. <laughs> Besides, I'd rather read Jolly Jack so I can vent all my anger. It's healthy. I sell it on Oprah. <laughs> Kevin, boy, polish me peg leg. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had a peg leg now. I've only got one favorite green sock. Oh, jeez. All right, all right. Here's your sock. Come on, scallywag. You gotta get ready for your bath. Let me take me hook off first so I don't get it rusty. Oh, I hate Jolly Jack. I really liked pork chop. Quit your snow leg and don't be stingy with the bubbles. So, man, how we go with Melanie last night, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. I had a very good date. I think that she likes me. Yeah, man. How do you get girls to like you? That's the stuff I need to know. Well, you know, you play it cool. Some hamburgers. You shoot a little pool. Give them that uh, bad boy smile. They all seem to like that a lot. Yes, the bad boy <laughs> smile, man. How do you do it? Well, uh, you don't do it on purpose. You know, you have to wait till you accidentally do something okay. cool. Like uh, when you're shooting pool and you get two balls in on one shot, then you give them this. Oh, that's, it. that's it right there. Yes, yeah. that is it, man. <laughs> I'm gonna try this, all right? All right, here right. we go. How's this, right? Okay. So it's uh, kind of like, like, uh... <laughs> Honest? Yeah. Matt, you look like you just wet yourself. <laughs> all right, I'll work on it, okay? So, uh, did you ask out for tonight? Here's another rule, Matt. Never ask a girl on a second date. If you've done your job on the first date, then they'll call you, okay? <sighs> Playing hard to get. Good one, man. <laughs> so how'd you learn all this stuff? Well, you're not going to believe this, but I actually learned it from this How to Pick Up Chicks pamphlet. <laughs> so she called yet? Uh, no, she hasn't. But you know what? It's only 6 o'clock. She should be calling within the next 30 minutes. And you're smart. You're going to teach a class in this. In yeah. what? How to belch the theme song to friends? 
So, thought you were going to drive out to Pittsburgh. I'm running late. Oh. So what are you doing tonight? Well, Mel may call. Might go out and get a little bite to eat or something. All right. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> hey. It's supposed to rain, so uh, be careful, all right? You too. Fine. Well, um, I'm gonna go get him something dry. Would you go down the right air? Stay a little while. Great. Okay. okay. All right. Hi, it's Lou. You know what to do. Joe, it's Matt. You there, man? <laughs> what? What? It, yes, we just got here. No, no, she's in the other room changing. What do you mean, va 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 voom? Hey, hey, Matt. Matt. What do you think this is, huh? Little baseball game? You're gonna get a little square every inning? Look, I appreciate your interest, all right, buddy? But get a hobby. Bye. What uh, movie do you want to see first? Oh, uh, you know, probably just a shorter one, because I, I really got to get to work early in the morning and, you know, just... Well, what do you say we skip the coming attractions and we move on to our... Feature presentation. Oh. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Uh, what are we doing here? <laughs> you don't know. I'm doing it wrong. No, no, no. It's it's not that. It's just that uh, you know. I mean, uh, this is our second date. I hardly I mean, know each other. <laughs> how do they go from being the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen uh, to we hardly know each other in just two days? You know. You know what, Mel? Mel, you are gorgeous. You are. I mean, you're sexy and you know, smart and all that good stuff. You know. But uh, to be honest with you. I'm feeling a little weird about being here. Is here like in here with me or here is in Lou's apartment? Because I talked to Lou and she said that you two are just friends and that this was fine. Really? Mm -hmm. so, so calm down, we weren't doing anything wrong. Yet. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mel! So the highway was flooded. I had to come back, I had to turn all the... you first. <laughs> well, they closed the highway and I turned around and came back. And you decided to get, what, a 10-hour jump on work? I mean, how come you just didn't go home? Because I did go home and I saw your jacket and I thought maybe you and Mel wanted some privacy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, look. Nothing happened between Mel and I, okay? But even if it did, I thought that we agreed to see other people. Yeah, but Joe, not my best friend. I didn't know she was your best friend when I asked her out, okay? I was just trying to make you jealous, Lou. Because I, I thought you were trying to make me jealous by going out with a guy named Mel. Really? Yes. I, I was just doing it to make you feel bad. Oh, jeez, Lou. I, I just didn't want to hurt you this bad. That's all. No, no. Okay, give up. No, no, Joe. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I feel like if we ever get anything started, you have to finish it, right? Yeah. I mean, we'd be together at the garage all day. And if it didn't work out... I would have to leave. I would leave. I would you leave. You know, I feel like we're young. I guess we have time before we get into something serious. And you think starting something with me is starting something serious? Yeah. Yeah, I know it is. That's why I can't. Here we are. There we are.
Oh, you should have seen Porgy and Bess. 